Tuesday, currently trending on Twitter. So, Stephen A., who's going to have the motivational edge in this matchup? Well, I think the motivational edge in the matchup goes to the Golden State Warriors. Um, I think LeBron James is more motivated than anybody uh, because, number one, the sting of having lost. Number two, uh, the specter of having five NBA Finals losses on his resume, et cetera. And especially after what he went through last year, being the Lone Ranger trying to carry the team on his back. As an individual, he has more motivation than anybody. But collectively, the motivation is on the side of the Golden State Warriors because even though they won the championship, there were many folks out there who said their title was fraudulent because LeBron didn't have Kevin Love and Kyrie Irving. So that is puts the a mountain of a chip on your shoulder. That's one. Number two, your 73 and nine season and the expectations that ultimately emanate from that. Number three, having to endure all of that, to put in all of that work and then to turn around and to come up short, that definitely has a, a, a motivational tool attached to it. Number four, being cemented as one of, if not the greatest single season team in NBA history. The argument being able to be made about that. That's another form of motivation. All right, so you take all of those things into account. I think collectively Golden State has more of a motivation than Cleveland. Individually, LeBron more so than any other individual. But collectively, Golden State more than Cleveland. I agreed with you. But you keep telling me that you keep hearing from Cleveland's side how much Cleveland wanted Golden State. Well, and they want Golden State because they believe if they were healthy, they would have beaten Golden State. But they don't have the chip on their shoulder the way Golden State has. LeBron is the one that felt the actual sting of losing. You're Kyrie, you're patella cracked. You're in surgery. You're Kevin Love. You went down because Olenek did that MMA move on you and separated your shoulder. And you're the rest of the team. You know you didn't have your horses. So in other words, it's almost like a built-in excuse. LeBron doesn't care about that because he had to carry that load practically by himself, almost pulled it off, made it interesting, and the sting of a fourth NBA Finals loss hurts him more than the other guys. The other guys didn't necessarily expect anything. They hoped for it. But LeBron had to put in the work. In the case of Golden State, collectively, to be a champion, to have the parade, to have the hoopla and all of that stuff, and then for the entire offseason and coming into the season, people are questioning your legitimacy as a bona fide champion. Explains why a Clay, a Draymond, a Steph, and others are like, oh, no, we want this rematch. We've been looking forward to it. It's actually the first lie that I've ever heard Steph Curry tell. When he sat up there and said, well, we haven't really thought about Cleveland. That's nonsense. Yep. I can assure you they've thought about Cleveland all year long. He might not have thought about Cleveland in recent weeks, but they've thought about Cleveland all year long. And by the way, before I get to Steph, speaking of dangerous and what I thought was dirty MMA moves, what Draymond did to Steven Adams last night, that was right there with Kelly Olenek to me, the way he pulled his arm down behind him. I mean, that, that Hold it. What about what about when Steven Adams sat up there and, you know, Draymond was on the floor because, you know, he went down when I know, but Draymond his pulled him and... down on top of him. I mean, it was Draymond's what? fault. He, he initiated it and had Steven Ar Adams arm yanked way back behind him. And then he I got to see that play. Again. I got to see that play. Again. I, guess I, was, I guess I was focused on the fact Jokes that Draymond, Draymond was the one that ended up down. Yeah. OK. Now back to Steph Curry, if I might. To give you just a, a little small taste of what I think is Golden State's motivation, last year, day after the finals, I think I was at the Cleveland, was, did it end in Cleveland or Golden State? I can't remember. Whichever. It was, was in Cleveland. Yeah, it in was Cleveland. in Cleveland. Yeah. I'm at the airport in Cleveland, going back to New York City, and I tweeted this. I tweeted, I love Steph, but Golden State had a fortuitous run to the title avoided Oklahoma City, avoided Clippers, avoided Spurs, and four straight injured starting point guards. Needs to validate next year. And Steph, within 20 minutes, tweeted sarcastically back at me, love you to skip. Yeah. Love you to <laughs> skip. And it just showed me he was listening. 
with big rabbit ears Bulletin and board. was ready to go. He wanted to validate then, not next year. So, so again, they have been spoiling to get back at Cleveland and, sh and beat them at full strength for a whole calendar year. My problem is I don't know if Steph Curry's at full strength. I agree with that. And let me tell you something right now. I don't care how great Kevin Durant and Russell Westbrook is. LeBron is a different beast. And, and LeBron is not going to be out there jacking up jump shots. No, nope. That hole, you hope not. Th those holes that Golden State's defense leaves open sometimes, LeBron will be bulldozing his way through them. He's coming, okay? He is coming. So it's going to be interesting to see. Steph Curry is going to need to be closer to 100% yep. for this to get mm -hmm. done. Okay, that well, I will last tell you. question, not to divulge any of your sources, but do you think LeBron wanted Golden State more than his teammates wanted Golden State? Yes. Really? Wow. Because I would have thought LeBron would have preferred Kevin Durant just because he beat him once in the finals and probably thinks he could beat him again in the finals. I would, I would tell you that LeBron's not thinking about who's more opportunistic than the other. Mm. LeBron wants the championship. He's craving the championship. And whoever is standing in his way, he is coming. Yep. Okay. We know the last Here we time go. there's been a championship in Cleveland, 1965, over 50 years ago. And so you also have to remember one other thing, guys. Yeah. As I reported, and it's much to the chagrin of a lot of people because LeBron's camp has categorically denied uh, what I said. I didn't get it from them. They're not the ones talking about it. But I specifically said to you guys, the Miami Heat believe they have a chance at getting LeBron back. And the Los Angeles Lakers haven't ruled out trying to get him as well, particularly since he bought a home out there in L.A. LeBron can't go anywhere yep. if mm -hmm. he does not win. Yep. But if he does win, he will have fulfilled his promise to the city of Cleveland and Northern Ohio about bringing a title back to that area. Once he does that, then he has the freedom mm -hmm. emotionally, spiritually, to do what he wants to do. And that LeBron doesn't love anything more than he loves the freedom to make his own decisions without having to worry about being a pariah. This championship series has a lot of potential big time ramifications. No question. Here we go. Here we go. All right. These guys are making us wait with their predictions. I tried to get it out of Skip and Stephen A. They won't budge. Thursday, we'll find out. We want to hear from you. Who is going to win, Warriors or Cavaliers? Let us know on the First Take Twitter handle. We'll share those in just a bit. Now, we all know LeBron has gone two for six in the NBA Finals, but does someone at the desk think the Warriors team is his toughest opponent yet? We'll talk about it right after this. Because you're missing opportunities. I know you're 